Hello, my name is Morgan Andrews. I will be going over legalization of marijuana and presenting cons. <clears throat> when talking about legalizing marijuana, there is medical and recreational use. For medical use, there are two main forms that have two, well, there's two main chemical compounds that are addressed. That is CBD and THC. The chemical compound of CBD does not have any mental effects on the brain or any effects on the brain and the mental abilities of the people taking it. THC, however, is the compound that produces that high in the brain when taking marijuana. So for most traditional uses of medical and, CB and recreational use, THC is what is involved. When talking about legalized federally as medical marijuana, there's only one form that has been legalized and approved by the FDA, and that is Epidolex. And it's approved for two particular cases of epilepsy. <clears throat> it is an orally ingested drug. Um, however, once that was approved, people began coming forward and petitioning the FDA to put forth their authorization of using CBD as a dietary supplement. This caused an issue because as the FDA did research, they created a scientific literature of use that, proved, that showed there is not enough medical research or scientific research to show the long-term effects of CBD used as a dietary supplement, either in animals, and then those humans eat those animals, or as just taking it as a dietary supplement orally or through your food as a human being. So they could not authorize it at that time. They are. They did also say that they will work with Congress in creating a path forward of finding out what those term, what long-term effects will be. Then they can make an ethical decision of saying, hey, this is healthy, this is approved, present that to Congress, and Congress can make a better decision on legalizing federally medicinal and recreational use of marijuana. With medical marijuana, the most common form is any form that uses THC. That's going to be smoking it, that's going to be cooking it in your food and eating it, or just taking the plant in any way that you can get that high. This has been shown to alleviate symptoms of post-traumatic stress disorder, as well as pain. However, THC has been shown in numerous studies to have adverse side effects physically, as well as mentally. In a study done by the New England Journal of Medicine, and that was posted, <clears throat> in 2014 by the Massachusetts Medical Society, there is a very high risk of addiction to marijuana and other substances, diminished lifetime achievement in motor vehicle accidents, and symptoms of chronic bronchitis. There is a medium risk for abnormal brain development, progression to use other drugs, schizophrenia, depression, and or, anxi or anxiety. Now this, t this particular study was done over healthy adults. So their brains are pretty much already formed and functional. In youth, however, <clears throat> their brains are still functioning. And so if you start taking these, these forms of medical medicinal marijuana that involve THC, adolescents and youth can begin to have abnormal brain development. In a study done by Pope and Yergo and Todd in 1996, they found that heavy users exhibited impairment in their attention and executive functions. Executive functions <clears throat> are the brain's ability to plan, process, and organize, and prioritize and focus on one topic above others for extended periods of time. So we can look into that with attention and self-regulation and inhibitory control. Attention is obviously being able to focus on any one particular topic or a given task for a long period of time. This is important in the workforce and in education. Self-regulation and inhibitory control is the ability of the mind to refocus on that task when distracted by a stimulus from another area. So for example, if you are writing a paper and your friend texts you, you can respond to that text, put your phone down, get back to your paper. Or if you have been taking large doses of THC, 
or even minimal, or even just doses in any quantity, your ability to self-regulate, to refocus on your particular task after being distracted, begins to become debilitated. Over continuous use of a drug of, of marijuana involving T THC, that debilitation increases and stays over time. Releasing this into the workforce for medicinal and recreational use is not a good idea because, as listed, the mental effects are pretty severe and the risk of further drug use increases. <clears throat> These are the cons for legalizing it strictly from a medical and scientific view. And I thank you for your time, and I hope you have a good day.